There was no clear-cut blueprint for success early on in ACC play. The league was a jumbled mess. But eventually, two teams separated themselves from the pack. And tonight, here at College Park, it'll be a battle for first place. Maryland, led by Player of the Year candidate Gravis Vasquez, on his senior night, takes aim at first place. Welcome to as heated and an environment as you will see in college basketball. The Comcast Center here at College Park with Duke in town to take on the Terps. And on top of that, it is senior night. And on top of that, there are two really good basketball teams that are going to meet here tonight. As we check the ACC standings for you, you can see that Duke and Maryland have separated themselves from the pack. And each has only one regular season game remaining after this one here tonight leading contender for ACC Player of the Year, of course, is Maryland's Gravis Vasquez. Well, Gravis Vasquez is one of the all-time greats here at Maryland, the only player in ACC history to have scored 2,000 points, 700 assists, and 600 rebounds. He is Mr. Everything to Maryland and their emotional leader as well. He is joined by two other seniors here on Senior Night and Eric Hayes and landed in Melbourne, also Sean Mosley and a very talented freshman in Jordan Williams. Well, as you can hear, as you can feel, it is alive here for the Comcast Center. This place doesn't take a back seat to anywhere in terms of the emotion, especially when Duke is here. Aaron Anders, this must have been a tough ticket. It certainly was, Dan. The lower level alone, going anywhere from $200 to $700 on the Internet. A great story that was famous here in the local paper this week. A first-year law student advertised on Craigslist. He couldn't afford a ticket, so in exchange, he would give a to-be-determined certain number of hours if he passes the Maryland bar for a seat in the house tonight. The athletic director, Debbie Yao, got that request. She got him a, house, a ticket in the house tonight. I just want to know from Jay Billis, the lawyer, is that worth it? You never give away your services for free, Aaron. No <laughs> self-respecting lawyer would ever do that. <laughs> Although you probably got some pretty good offers for this seat right here in center court tonight. And he's missed his first two three-pointers. Maryland looking to push. Vasquez for three. He is 6'4", a power guard, but he will stick his nose in there and go after the ball. And you've got to send all five guys to... Hayes off to Vasquez. Hayes can do a lot of the ball handling as well, averaging about four assists per game. Landon Milbourne, another one of the seniors. Using this wing ball screen, a little UCLA cut, then the wing ball screen. And Milburn goes one way, then goes the other. Was a little bit confused, but was smart enough. Chris Vasquez gets here. He plays hard every game. He brings so much emotion to this school. It's unbelievable. Well, a lot of people say that he's maybe obnoxious, but I don't have a problem with him. I think that if I didn't go to this school, I would probably hate him. Um, sometimes leaders have to be dramatic, and uh, I think that he inspires his teammates. If we keep winning games, he can be as loud as he wants. And he is certainly backing up his emotion, his... Uh, his enthusiasm with his play, 19 and a half points per game of the season in his last eight games, Jay, over 24 points per game. His numbers have gone up and up and up the deeper into the season that he plays. Mom and dad are here uh, from Venezuela for senior night. Obviously a very emotional experience for them. Uh, Landon Milburn and also Eric Hayes, also part of the senior night festivities here. And here's Vasquez coming out. Well, yesterday, Gravis Vasquez was talking about how he had no words to describe how he feels about Maryland and what this four-year period has meant in his life. And he plays for a very emotional coach in Gary Williams. And those two have fed off each other. They continue to, for lack of a better term, as Jake told me during the break, cut down the nets here at the Comcast Center. Basketball right now. Saturday night, ESPN, each of his prior eight games, so they've got some weapons. It's not just Vasquez. Nice pass to the cutting head oh. for the reverse. Floater left short by Smith. Loose ball rebound to the Terps, and they got numbers. Vasquez to Williams, and a foul. Gravis Vasquez with the vision to see behind him. And Jordan Williams does a magnificent job of running the court. That's the way you finish a play. Yeah. 
on there. Juan Dixon. The all-time leading scorer here at Maryland led him to the national championship in 2002, Final Four in 2001, and never forget the first time I saw him stay competitive in this game. Here are your top three scores all time in Maryland history, with including the points for Vasquez tonight. He's got a shot at Dixon, but Maryland would have to have a pretty good run both in the ACC tournament and in the NCAA tournament. He would probably need. They, they hit some really good shots, plus when they went zone, we didn't run very good offense. So it was a bad combination, but uh, we've got a two-point lead. What's the key in the second half to get back into this? Well, we have to get back playing like we did earlier in the game. We have to have more enthusiasm and energy, so I think we still have it, so we'll see. All right, Coach, thanks. All right, guys. Well, certainly Coach Williams never lacks for enthusiasm and energy. We'll see how his players respond. Maryland by two at the break. Time now for the UPS Halftime Report with Carl Ravitch and Steve Lavin. <laughs> to College Park, the home of the University of Maryland. You can see it has been a good evening thus far for the Terps, although Duke really got back into it with a run at the end of the first half. Bingler switching off on Vasquez, doing a very nice job of staying in front of him. Vasquez, got it. Maryland pushing, this is Bowie. Vasquez behind the back to a wide open. Baseline can be very hard to guard. Into the hands of Vasquez. Plenty of time to shoot. He'll launch a three. That ties it. The Terps can take the lead. Vasquez, yes! gets the shimmy shake from dad's got some good moves as well little hesitation move and dan this is where gravis vasquez is at his best that's in transition and he is an emotional player and juan dixon the great juan dixon enjoying every second of it Sellout crowd of almost 18,000 here for the Comcast Center for Senior Night. Hoping to send Vasquez off in style. Look at the emotion on that young man. The number three all-time scorer in Maryland history. As if he needs to rally the crowd and to make them any louder. Tonight's game track brought to you by Papa John's. A two-point lead for Maryland. Shire and Vasquez, arguably the top two contenders for ACC Player of the Year. He's probably the most polarizing player ever. I think he's hot. Anybody who's watched Gravis play over the last couple of years just knows he's a fireball, full of emotion. You know, if he's not cocky, he's not arrogant, who else is going to lead the team? To see someone from Venezuela do as well as he does um, on the ACC level, can't ask for more. I'm so happy he's here, and it's really sad to see him go. The game high 20. Landon Milburn is open off that snapback post. Good cut by Hayes. Wow, what a shot. Smith has had the hot hand in the second half, but not this time. And now Maryland can take some air out of the ball over the next 30 seconds into the final minute with a two-point lead. Duke at 12 and 2 in the ACC. Maryland at 11 and 3, looking for a first place tie. And a week from now, maybe you share the regular season championship. Also looking to snap a six-game losing streak to Duke. The toughest shot of the night makes it a four-point game. No room for Shire. Maryland ball. As instead of going over the top of this screen, just splits the defenders, and that might have been worth more than two with degree of difficulty. Just a terrific offensive player making a very clutch play under pressure. On senior night, with all of the emotion, Grievous M. Grievous Vasquez, the only player in ACC history with 2,000 points.
700 assists, 600 rebounds. An emotional night for the senior from Venezuela. He got off to a great start. Maryland got off to a great start. We're up by 14 in the first half. Duke came all the way back, took the lead, and then what a crazy shot there by Vasquez. Maryland now up by six, 26 seconds to go. He can't hear him. He says he can't hear him. No matter how loud they get, Jay, Vasquez wants more. An eight to nothing run broke a 69-69 tie. Mom and Dad Vasquez loving it. Maryland's going to earn its sixth consecutive win and its first win over Duke in its last seven games. Here they come. second half and the Terps made some big shots at the end of the game but the Gravis Vasquez ends his home career in style with a 79 to 72 win over number four Duke Vasquez finishing with 20 points and five assists here's the view from the court as time expired a tsunami of students I tell you, I give our uh, camera guys a lot of credit for hanging in there. They're in the middle of that. I'm fearful Aaron Andrews is in the middle of that as well, trying to secure an interview for us post game here. But a great celebration here at the College Park after Maryland beats Duke for the first time in seven tries. That moves the Terps into a first place tie with Duke atop the ACC. Duke will still likely be the number one seed going into the ACC tournament. But if both teams win on the weekend, they will share the regular season title, and each school will earn the right to hang a banner in its own building. Maryland 79 and Duke 72 on senior night here for Gravis Vasquez and others. Vasquez leading the way with 20 points, embracing his parents who came from Venezuela to watch the game. What a joyous moment for them. Sports Center is next here on ESPN. And for more on this one, tune over to ESPN News. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Maryland wins. So long from College Park.